Once upon a time, there was a young man named Jack who was full of questions and wanted to know the secrets of life. He had read books, attended lectures, and even traveled to different countries to find answers, but he was still unsatisfied. One day, Jack heard about a wise old sage who lived in a remote part of the forest. He decided to go and see the sage, hoping that he would have the answers he was looking for. When Jack arrived at the sage's hut, he found that outside looking out into the distance. Jack approached him said, Excuse me, sir I've come a long way to seek wisdom. Can you teach me the secrets of life? The sage remained silent for a few moments, looking at Jack with a gentle smile. Then he said, My dear child, the secrets of life cannot be taught. They can only be experienced, but I will give you a piece of advice that might help you on your journey. Practice silence. Jack was puzzled. Silence what do you mean? The sage replied, silence is the key to understanding the world in yourself. When you are silent, you can hear the world around you. You can hear the birds chirping the wind blowing, and the sound of your own thoughts. When you are silent, you can also hear the voice of your inner wisdom. It is in the silence that you can find your true self and connect with the world in a deeper way. Jack was intrigued by the sage's words, but he was also confused. But how can I learn anything if I am silent? How can I ask questions? The sage smiled again. You can still ask questions, but ask them in silence. Listen to the answers that come from within you. Trust your intuition and your inner wisdom. You may be surprised at what you discover. Jack was not sure if he understood everything the sage had said. But he decided to give it a try. He thanked the sage and left the forest determined to practice silence. At first it was not easy for Jack to be silent. He was used to talking and asking questions. And he felt uncomfortable in the silence. But gradually, he began to find peace in the stillness. He spent hours in meditation, listening to the sound of his breath in his heartbeat. He also spent time in nature, listening to the birds and the wind and feeling the rhythm of the earth beneath his feet. As he practiced silence more and more, Jack began to notice changes in himself. He felt more calm and centered. Even in the midst of chaos, he was able to think more clearly and make better decisions. He also felt more connected to the world around him, as if you were a part of a larger whole. One day Jack returned to the sage's hut to thank him for his advice. When he arrived, he found the sage sitting in the same spot. Looking out into the distance. Sir, said Jack. I want to thank you for teaching me the power of silence. It has changed my life. The sage turned to Jack and said I did not teach you anything my dear child. You taught yourself. You discovered the secrets of life within yourself through your practice of silence. The wisdom was always within you. I just helped you uncover it. Jack smiled, realizing that the sage was right. The wisdom had been within him all along. You think the sage again and left the forest feeling grateful for the lesson he had learned. From that day on, Jack continued to practice silence every day. He found that it helped him to stay calm, centered, and focused. Even in the midst of chaos, he learned that sometimes the greatest lessons can be learned by simply being quiet and listening. He discovered that in the silence, he could connect with his inner self and find answers to his questions. Over time, Jack became known for his wisdom and his ability to listen. People came to him for advice, and he would often reply with silence, allowing them to find their own answers. He knew that sometimes the greatest gift you can give someone is to listen without judgment or interruption. In the end, Jack realized that the greatest lesson he had learned was not about the secrets of life, but about the power of silence. He had discovered that sometimes the greatest answers can be found in the stillness. 
and that the wisdom we seek is already within us.